Yeah, definitely don't want all of here. I definitely don't want all of here. Hello. Twenty six twenty, right? No, twenty six forty. Oh, forty. Yeah, it literally said that. Hi. Hey guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Sorry, going on? Right I'm not getting any answer on call. Bro, oh, oh, shit. Shalom, shalom, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who teach them well, peace and salutations, and hopefully, like scattered abroad. Real quick, I want to touch on what you just saw on the screen. I'm going to play the video back, I'm going to read the caption. I did a video on this previously. When the story first came out, now the video is coming out of the body footage from the cops. And, uh, and this is the story. It is about, um, it is, it says, uh, it says, uh, police body camera shows the attack on former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband at their San Francisco home last October. Now, when this happened, everybody, the story it wasn't adding up, nothing was making sense. You know, it was, it was just, you know, and, and and it all was sounding like it was some, some fishy stuff going on. And, you, and that's what you see in this video. But it says, Paul Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi's husband, was asleep at, at the couple's San Francisco home on October 28th when a, someone broke in and beat him with a hammer. Now, they're trying to say that, that this was because of who Nancy Pelosi is. But have come to find out that this man and this individual that he's wrestling with, they know each other. OK, and they actually, you know, they, they must have had some type of relationship going on. Put it like that. It says prosecutors have charged 42 year old David uh, De Pepe in connection with the attack. And when you go into the story, there's been uh, different accounts of them knowing each other before or getting been seen together before. So pretty much this was his Nancy Pelosi, the speaker of the house. Um, This was her her um her husband's, you know, boy thing. OK, and he's in the house with, with his damn boxers on. And then this guy knocks him out with a hammer. I'm gonna play the video. Hey guys. Yeah, definitely don't want all of here. I definitely don't want all of here. Hello. By the way, I want to say that this today, it was trying to make this sound like you know somebody was attacking, you know, the, the Nancy, um, Nancy Pelosi, which was which was uh, you know, they were trying to use this to demonize, you know, some supposed conspiracy theorists. About somebody was trying to attack attack her, whatever. Well, she was she wasn't even there, but no, this was a a, 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 a a domestic violence dispute between her husband and his gay lover. Okay. Notice how when they answer the door and they ask him what's going on, Nancy Pelosi's husband standing right there. He says nothing's going on. He said no nothing. He was trying to he was trying to keep it under wraps, man. They were just having a a, a, mis a misunderstanding. Okay. It's like your girlfriend when she get mad at you, she grabs him trying to hit you with it. That's what was going on right here. But the, but the cops got involved. And then the, the, the damn boyfriend said, fuck, I'm going to go, go hit him anyways. And the reason I do this video is to show you that this country is not what you think it is. And pretty soon all the things done in the dark is going to come to the light. Are you sure this one? Yeah. Fucking said. Mind you, his wife is at home. He's there. Say, how my, how my, he was sleeping, but. He's up in the middle of the night in a living room wrestling with some guy with a hammer in his boxes. Okay. Then the cops get there and he says, this is the fishy part. The cops get there and he acts like nothing, 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 nothing's going on. We're okay. So, you see, <laughs> something's weird going on, man. 2620, right? No, 2640. Oh, yeah, it literally said that. Hi. Hey guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Everything's good. Look. Hi. Hi. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What is Sorry, going on right now? I'm not getting it. Cop said, what is going on right now? You're trying to act like no, no, everything's normal. Nancy Pelosi's husband was trying to act like everything was normal. He's right here with his boxes on. 
showing out like everything was normal. But this other guy, he was upset. Probably, you know, he probably didn't pay him all his money for you know the the the, the exchange the exchange they had earlier. So he's upset, obviously. So he figured, you know what? You call the cops. Okay, now nah, now nah, now nah, now nah, I'm gonna hit your ass with this hammer because the cops are was, was are called anyways. You know what I'm saying? Now you see Nancy Pelosi's husband is right there, knocked out. This guy is sleepy. You're gonna hear him snoring, because apparently this guy just hit him with the hammer. Okay, he's knocked. He's right there, knocked out, snoring. Okay, but this whole situation is pretty weird, man. Some weird stuff going on. That shows you that behind closed doors, your government officials, you know, they're they're not living, you know, um, you know these uh. You know these godly principles, these American godly principle lives that they claim that they, that, that they live. Ever fourteen ever send backup code three. Code three backup at two six. Give me your fucking hand. Unit code Give me your fucking hand. Ever for fourteen ever send medics code three as well. Her husband right there just snoring. He's snoring. He's out of it, man. He's out of it. He got clumped. And now he's laying out there, you know, knocked out. But this whole thing is fishy, man. Now, I just saw this, and I figured I'd just do a quick video on it. So, the first thing that came to my mind was this. Luke chapter 8, verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So, whatever there was going on over there, man. And these 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 people are getting exposed, okay. And everything that they try to hide is coming to the light. It's being made manifest, and anything that they that that, that they you know all the secrets are become are being made manifest, and anything that they try to hide is being known and it's coming abroad. You know, there's no reason for you to be wrestling with with, with some man in your house in the middle of the night in your boxes with a hammer and a cop coming. You say nothing, nothing's going on. Wait a minute, <laughs> you know, that's some that's some suspect shit, man. But that shows you that these people are you know perverse, man. And also told you that we got basement ruling over. So let's grab that. Okay. Job to the 30 verse 8. It says they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. The bottom of the barrel. They were viler than the earth. So who knows what, what was going on in that damn apartment or in that damn house, you know. And these devils over there, you know. <laughs> these folks supposed to be the people that's, you know, leading the country. that That's making, you know, big, you know, decisions for the country. But the whole time they are confusing their own personal lives. Okay, total confusion, man. Let's go here. Um, let me go to uh, I ain't know for this right here. I, I gotta, gotta gotta get ready to head off a cap. So let's go ahead and knock this out. It says Hebrews chapter twelve verse sixteen. It says, um, "Lest there be any fornicator." That was it was it was it was over there fornicating, man. Okay. They was over there fornicating. And when this story first came out, anybody with some sense was able to read between the lines. They was over there fornicating, being homosexuals. Okay? It says, or profane person as Esau. This is the, the devil the Bible speaks of that's ruling over us, man. Okay? Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So these people were in power and they're destroying the earth. You know, they're destroying the earth and they're destroyed. They're evil, disgusting people. And this is why the Lord is going to have to destroy and, and judge and expose these devils as they're being exposed. All right. And I, and I, I just felt, felt I was, it was important for me to do a video on this because I already touched on it earlier. You know, when the first story first broke, I did a video on it. So I feel like I'd do it again, man. Um, or, you know, I guess you can say this is a part two to, that, to the other story. Whichever channel it may be on. But Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Abba, Abba, Praise the Lord, Shalom.